The Supreme Court today has ruled that merely because a politician has been charged with a serious criminal offence, he cannot be barred or disqualified from contesting elections. Uh, the court was hearing a public interest litigation filed by BJP spokesperson Ashwini Upadhyay and an NGO. And this five-judge constitution bench led by Chief Justice Deepak Mishra has now left the whole issue to the parliament to decide and bring upon a law if required. Now, there are already laws in the Constitution of India and the Representation of Peoples Act which deal with this issue about when a candidate can be disqualified. Uh, so, under the Constitution, the limits are that you need to be, uh, you cannot be an insolvent, you cannot uh, be declared uh, of having unsound mind by any court, you cannot be a foreign agent and you cannot most importantly hold an office of profit. Apart from this, one other criteria is that if there are any laws under uh, that the parliament has made, you can be disqualified under them as well. So now the election laws also disqualify a candidate for um, if he's been convicted of a serious offence. So what the court could have today done is that brought down that criteria and said not when you're convicted, but even when you're charged, you can be disqualified from contesting elections. So remember that um, Rahul Gandhi, who's been charged with uh, uh, defamation cases, might not be eligible to contest elections. Amit Shah, whose name features in a charge sheet related to the Surabuddin Sheikh encounter, could have been barred from contesting elections. The government had argued that being charged of an offence is a lower threshold and the person needs to be convicted to be barred from contesting elections. Uh, one politician that we know um, who has been barred now is Lalu Prasad Yadav after he has been convicted in a series of corruption cases. Under the uh, law, for six years he cannot contest any election or hold a political position. This is Apurva Vishwanath for the print.